Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a quick unbox video on this uh, remote start system I picked up. This is the CompuStar 4900S. It is a two-way remote start system and it's uh, marked for 3,000 feet max range on the box. Let's get right into it. Um, first thing this has is a bag with all the wiring harnesses. So, first one in here. This is the main or primary harness with all the connections that are made for your 12 volt constant, um, the ignition and starter cables. These connections are usually all found like right underneath the steering wheel of the vehicle. And uh, you know I'll be, I'll be going over all those connections uh, in a future video, but for this uh, unboxing, I'm just gonna go through this quick. Um, so that's the first one. Um, let's see, next cable, this is your antenna uh, connection, so this wire, basically run it from the remote start uh, brain unit uh, all the way up, usually through the side uh, pillars of your uh, vehicle, and uh, this will go plugged into the remote start unit, this side goes plugged into the antenna, which will be mounted on your windshield. Um, next thing in here is the secondary harness, so this one has all the connections if needed for like locking door, unlocking door, um, you know, alarm, disarm, arm, um, the tax signal for the vehicle. Uh, so that, that's these connections here on that harness. And then the last piece in here is the hood pin. So these are security device basically. So you install this on the hood um, of your car. And then when the hood is closed, it, um, the wire that goes connected here uh, doesn't make contact with ground on the on the body of the vehicle and this will um, allow the, the remote start unit to start knowing that the hood is closed but like let's say you're working on the car and uh, this will make contact and get a ground signal uh, say somebody accidentally hits the remote start button it won't the remote start unit won't allow the car to start so it's just a little safety feature um, Next thing in here is the, you get you get two remotes. You get the one in the fancy box and then one in the plastic bag. Um, this one right here in the plastic bag is the, um, this is the one-way. So it comes with a two-way and a one-way remote. So this one would just send a signal and would never let you know, like once you, you know, it sends a signal out and it would never receive confirmation that the car received the signal and turned on. Um, the other one in this fancy box, this one is the secondary one. So this unit um, is the one that, you know, if you press uh, that, what is it, remote start, it would send that signal out and then a second or two later you would receive back confirmation from the vehicle saying, hey, I got the signal and I'm turning on. Um, so you only get one of those, but most people just use this one. And then here is the antenna that will plug into that harness. Um, and then uh, this would get stuck on uh, the windshield with these little stickies right here. And then the last piece in the box is the brain unit. This is where all the harnesses plug in. And uh, this is an older model, uh, the CM900. It's tiny, it's small, I like it, it's compact, um, you know, easy to hide underneath the uh, the vehicle there. And then uh, on the back side of this is the slot for the blade. Um, this is, um, this the blade is, is the uh, piece that will basically clone your key information and um, and that way when you send a remote start signal to the vehicle, um, the vehicle reads the key information from this blade and allows the car to turn on. If you didn't have a blade installed, it would just try to turn on and never turn on because of the um, immobilizer data on the keys now with the chips. And this back here, it's just got like some uh, information on, you know, what harness is what and all that. There's also a little pocket here for, uh, it's got a selectable jumper uh, that you can basically use to one of the wires is selectable so you can use it as like a, a secondary uh, start secondary uh, ignition or like an accessory cable if you need two of either of those so that's pretty nice so 
In a future video, I'll go over prepping um, cables before installing on a vehicle, and then uh, I'll do a vehicle install video as well. Um, these are the other things that just come in the box. Uh, some stickers, uh, warning label, instruction manuals of some sort. And then here's the main installation manual that goes into detail over everything. Um, you can usually find these online as well, but won't go into detail on them here. Um, just look forward to my next videos on uh, wire prep and then uh, do one on install. Thanks.